Hello everyone. Today we are taking the science of class 7th and in this video we discuss the chapter which is Fiber to Fabric presented by me Priya Singh. This is the third lecture of this chapter. In this video we will talking about a processing of silk. How the silk is obtained? In this video, we are talking about the history of silk, about sari culture, a life cycle of moth, and step involved to obtain a silk. Let's get start. Next one is about silk. Next, it is also obtained from animal. Silk fiber is obtained from cocoon of silkworm. The silk moth live on leaf of mulberry plants. Type of silk. Different type of silkworm produce different type of silk in terms of luster and texture. For example, tassel silk, mogra silk, kosha silk, etc. are produced by different types of silk moth. Mulberry silk is mo most common silk moth. Sari culture. The rearing of silkworm for obtaining silk is called as sari culture. History of silk. Silk was discovered in China around 3500 BC. Silk become a prized possession because of its fine quality and luster. Originally it was used by emperor only. Through trades it spread throughout the world. A period of time silk was a staple item of a trade during ancient time. Due to this the ancient trade routes which link China to other part of world are called as silk route. As, as per historians, silk was produced in India also. Proof of use of silk during an Indus Valley civilization has also found. Life cycle of silk worm. There are four stages in a life cycle of silk moth. Egg, larva, pupa and adult. A female silk moth lay many eggs. After 14 days, eggs are hatched into larva and this larva are called as a caterpillar. This caterpillar grow into pupa and secrete a fiber made up of protein and waves the fibers around itself completely. This covering is called as cocoon. Live in a cocoon for some time after coming out of the cocoon grow into a silk moth. This is the life cycle of silk worm. This is a tree of mulberry. This uh, figure show the life cycle of silk worm. Processing of silk. Processing of silk uh, also involve in following steps. Rearing of silk worm, reeling, and dyeing and this is followed by spinning and webbing. Process of processing of silk. This is in this figure you can easily see the steps which is uh, given how the silk is formed. Rearing of silk worms. A female silk moth lays eggs. Eggs are stored over a clean cloth or a paper strips. The eggs are warmed to a situate suitable temperature. The eggs hatch into larva called caterpillar or silk worm. The, the silk worm are kept in bamboo trays and feeds on a mulberry leaves and grow in a size. After 13 to 14 days, the silk worm stop eating and begin to spin cocoon. Cocoons get harder because of exposure or to air. Inside the cocoon, the silk worm develop into silk moth. This is the rearing of silk worm. It is shown in this figure. Reeling of silk is a second step. The cocoons are collected and kept in sunlight or boiled or exposed to steam. The silk fibers separate out. 
the process of taking out the silk thread from the cocoon is called as reeling reeling is done by machines reeling of silk in this diagram you will easily see how the silk are reeled out into a yarn dyeing spinning and weaving dyeing is the next step the silk fibers are then dyed in different colors after dyeing spinning and weaving is the next step the silk fibers are then spun into thread and woven into different type of silk cloth that is fiber spinning and weaving of silk you can easily see in this diagram thank you